Let's import an AutoCAD file and model from it. At File, Import, check AutoCAD Files for files of type, find the file, click Options, check those boxes, and make sure the AutoCAD Files units match the SketchUp Models units, then bring it in. That's the data you're importing. And there's the AutoCAD plan. It's now SketchUp Geometry. Scale it. I'm clicking on the door's endpoints, typing 3 feet, and now the plan scales proportionately. Now trace over the walls. Sometimes it's this easy. You trace one line and the whole face fills. Sometimes it's not so easy and you have to get a little creative about the order you fill and how you do it. For instance, I'm having some trouble filling in this wall here. The door jam just filled, but I can't get this wall to fill by tracing it. So I'll trace it in pieces. and sometimes that works. Then I can just erase those lines. Now we'll model the walls push pull them up. I'm push pulling them up 9 feet. Inference match the other walls. Now notice the faces are reversed. It's good to keep all the normals, that is the front face, out. So right click and choose Reverse Faces. If you have a bunch you need to, to reverse, then hold the Shift key down to select them all. And then right click, choose Reverse Faces, and they'll all flip. Now we'll fill in the top of this window opening. You can see a face formed in the back and by drawing another line I get a face in the front too with the rectangle I'll draw the window and push pull the front face back I'll have to get rid of the back face too I'll do that in a bit first let's erase these lines we don't need them anymore Always get rid of all lines you don't need. There, I just right clicked and erased the back face of that window. Let's just finish up the doorway also.
oops, undo. Now I can use the rectangle again to make the doorway. I can type in numbers or just click to those lines and look at the measurements box in the lower right hand corner for the height. Push pull and click on the opposite edge and this will get you started.